Hey guys, this is the Monitor Group. So today, I will be talking about the disadvantages of ICT. I will show you a full video of what cybercrime, one of the disadvantages of ICT, all about. So, without further ado, let's get started. Before we proceed to the disadvantages, let's go back to the definition of the information and communication technologies first. What is ICT? Information and communication technology deals with the use of different communication technologies such as mobile phones, telephone, internet, etc. to locate, save, send, and edit information. There are many importance of ICT. There are also these what we call disadvantages and one of which is cybercrime. Cybercrimes are illegal acts done through the use of the internet. In 2012, Stephen Nail posted a list of 10, 10 most common internet cybercrimes as follows. And number one is phishing. Phishing or spoofing is the act of sending multiple emails to multiple users in hopes of having a number of them clicking on the links or malwares attached to the email. Most email services today have spam or book folders that automatically put these suspicious emails to that folder. However, this is not 100% accurate that some emails are not filtered and some other emails that are legitimate end up on the spam folder. The second one is the blackmail or extortion. It is the act of using the internet to threaten or damage someone's reputation to extort money or anything else of value. This can be avoided if you are aware or what you should post on the internet. The victims of this act tend to have posted something inappropriate over the internet even if they put it at a secure location. The third one is accessing stored communications, or also known as hacking. It is the act of obtaining unauthorized access to data from a computer network. This is typically done to commercial and government sites to threaten its owner. In late 2014, a group of hackers hacked Sony's website because of the impending release of the controversial film the interview the next one is the, the sports betting it is the act of wagering on any sports event over the internet in some countries gambling including sports betting is illegal even if you are doing it over the internet the fifth one is the non-delivery of merchandise it is the act of devising a scheme wherein a culprit posts an item or service for sale on the internet and once the transactions have been done does not really give the item or service the next one electronic harassment it is the act of anonymously using the internet to harass abuse threaten or annoy other people this is also an act of cyberbullying however because the culprit is anonymous it is hard to detect who is bullying you next one is child pornography the act of using the internet to show child pornography this act is highly punishable by law prostitution the act of using the internet to engage in prostitution the next one is drug trafficking the act of selling illegal substances using the internet and lastly criminal copyright infringement the act of piracy mainly for financial gain. In late 2014, the number one pirate website, The Pirate Bay, was raided for the second time due to years of pirating movies, music, games, books, and other software. These kinds of websites earned money through advertising. There are several ways the authorities can help solve or prevent cybercrimes. First one is network security. Before a hacker can get through the unauthorized files he or she is targeting, the hacker has to get through several security measures like firewalls, secure connections, passwords, 
anti-malwares, and data encryptions. Investigation URL tracing and logging are used by websites to track your unique IP addresses. This can be used by investigators to trace hackers. In piracy, trackers are used to identify IP addresses currently sharing a pirated file. Penalties More and more laws are being created and implemented today. Penalties include both and fine and imprisonment. That is all guys. If you have any suggestions about the information and communication technologies, just comment down below. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.